Hey guys, TechyKHD here again with another video, and today I have my top themes for iOS 7.1.x. So without any further ado, let's start off with the first theme. So if I turn on my iPhone here, as you guys can see, if I open up settings, come to general, and about, I am here on iOS 7.1.1, as you guys can see here from the bottom of the screen. Uh, and I am jailbroken on 7.1.1 uh, using the Pangu jailbreak. So the first uh, tweak, or rather the first theme that I'm going to be showing you guys, uh, is actually called uh, Solstice. Now, I used to use this quite a lot on the earlier iOS 7 jailbreak. So here I'm just going to respring my device and uh, one of the main features of this theme or one of the main design aspects of this theme is the long shadow effect. As you guys can see, it even themes the Apple logo when you respring or turn on your device. So I'm just going to unlock my device, and as you guys can see here, this is Solstice. Now this is a very clean, minimal, nice looking theme. I've always liked this ever since it came out. It was one of my top themes that I used to use on the earlier iOS 7 jailbreak. It adds a really nice touch to iOS 7, makes it look really, really nice. Uh, the jailbreak uh, actually becomes one of the more uh, desired things on an iOS device after you see themes like these, in my opinion. Uh, so this was Solstice. Now the next theme that I'm going to be showing you guys uh, here, let me just open up Winterboard and show you, uh, is actually called Flat 7. Now, Flat 7 was recently redesigned, uh, so here, let me just uh, respring it, and as you guys can see, there it does not theme or mod the Apple logo uh, in any way, which, I mean, it kind of adds to the fact that it is a very flat and minimal theme, uh, but now that the device is resprung, let's actually just unlock it and show you guys. Now here, uh, as you guys can tell, the theme is again very, very flat, as the name implies. Uh, it really, it, it retains depth to the icons, but without giving them uh, too many uh, sharp characteristics. It's a very flat, thin, minimal, and light theme to the device, and I think that adds a lot of character to iOS, which I think it was kind of lacking. And I really, really do like this theme, and I would definitely recommend it. Now the next theme that I have to show you guys is called C7. Now this theme is actually radically different from the others because it actually changes the way your icons look in a massive way. Now first off it also does theme the Apple logo as you guys can see it is blue uh, but when you turn it on and you unlock your device as you guys can see all the icons are circular now they are no longer squares this theme changes everything to circles and it is actually a very bright and poppy theme if that's the way I could actually describe it. Now this theme makes use of something called icon masks which means that even if the icon is not natively supported it will still cut the icon and retain uh, the new shape that C7 provides just to be able to provide a nicer, uh, more integrated look to the other applications. So the next app, uh, or rather the next uh, theme that I'm going to show you, or actually first let me let you guys know that if you come here under settings and you come to uh, wallpapers and brightness and you click choose new wallpaper and stills, C7 actually gives you a whole bunch of new colorful wallpapers. As you guys can see that these are from C7 because it does have a little C7 icon uh, next to the wallpapers. I was actually using this one for a little while and then uh, I switched back to the black because I do kind of like it. Okay guys. So so that was a C7. Now the next theme that I have to show you guys is called Pastel. This is one of my personal favorite themes because I really like uh, the rather dull and toned down themes. Uh, something that's understated, minimal, but still slick enough to make it look nice. And that is what Pastel is to me. So if I open it up, as you guys can see, this uses a really nice pastel color palette. Uh, it's very, very bland, but in that way also very sophisticated. And I really, really do like this theme. Now the icons retain them themselves uh, in the in the terms of the shape of the icons uh, nothing else really changes but I think overall that this theme looks very very nice and I would definitely recommend it for anybody who has a similar taste to mine in this regard now the next theme that I have to uh, show you guys is called uh, Zanilla so let me just open that up so let's see um, yeah so here's Zanilla uh, let me just respring my device after selecting all of those options. Now, Zanilla is the theme that I have been using most often on my device very recently. I actually found it online, and I found it on a forum, and I've really been enjoying the way that this theme looks on my device. Uh, so here you go. This is Zanilla. I think it looks very nice. It kind of combines the, the Solstice look as well as the Flat 7 look uh, because it does have uh, the long shadow effect on some of the icons, uh, but the icons are actually smaller and flatter overall. 
available. Now this theme is probably my favorite out of this whole bunch and again is available in Cydia so I would definitely recommend going ahead and checking it out. Now finally the last theme that I have to show you guys is called Space Blueberry. Now this name is a little bit awkward I know I actually had to make sure that I wasn't downloading some sort of weird mod or patch for my device uh, but after I saw some reviews of this theme or some uh, screenshots of this theme rather online I actually did think that it was pretty interesting so I decided to take a look. Now this theme actually is very different from the others it's a very radical theme in that, that regard that it is very different from the others because this brings back a lot of the details. Now again this theme is also pretty flat but doesn't actually um, take the minimal approach of the other themes and actually adds a lot of detail to the icons. Now the icon in Space Blueberry as well as in Zanilla for Winterboard is almost exactly the same so I think that one of the themes took inspiration from the other in terms of their icon design. Uh, I also really really do like the icon design for the Tumblr application. I think it is one of my favorite icons for Tumblr that I have ever seen uh, but, and I really honestly do like this theme very very much but most often uh, I always end up resorting to go back to Zanilla. Now anyway guys, that does about do it for this video. Those are my top themes for the iOS 7.1.x jailbreak. If you guys enjoyed this video, it would be really awesome if you guys could leave the video a thumbs up uh, or a like rating by hitting the little thumbs up button in the bottom left hand corner of this video. And for more videos like these, as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials, and much much more, please do remember to subscribe. It will keep you up to date with all my latest HD content and will help the channel uh, grow to the 7,000 subscriber mark where I will actually be having a international sponsored giveaway. So anyway guys, that does about conclude this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, it would be awesome if you guys could leave a comment, whatever down there, uh, in the comment section below. And as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.